Praise the Lord, what is needed for a successful Christian life? Every Christian has to lead a successful life. That's what's the will of the God. Today, see what is needed for a successful Christian life. 1 John 5, 4 says, Because everyone who has been successful Christian life, you have to do five things to lead a successful Christian life. Put God first. Follow the word of God. Seek the goal. Never give up. Do all for Christ. If you do five things, certainly you will be. You will. You will, you will your life is going to be a successful Christian life. Um, first, put for uh, put for God first. That's what Matthew six thirty two to thirty four says. When you put God first, um, then you never worry. Uh, uh, what shall we eat? Uh, what shall we drink? Uh, what shall we wear? For pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly fathers know you know that you need all these things. Um, the first uh, the first thing for the uh, successful Christian life is that um, not to worry, but put uh, put God first. Seek His kingdom and His righteousness, and all things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So first, put God. Don't worry about tomorrow. Seek the God's kingdom. That is the first step for a successful Christian life because in our life, we are always having so many worries. In those days, food, shelter, and um, clothing is a basic thing, but that is that itself is not available to so many people. So they were worrying. In our days, our worries are so many different. Um, every day we have some financial need, um, health issues, um, and some job issues. Um, we are worrying for our futures. What will happen if we won't get the job or if we lose the job? Um, what happens if the children are going to be like this? What happened to their life? All these are our problem. So don't worry about the uh, uh, for future. But today you seek the kingdom of God. First of all, today you seek the kingdom of God and righteousness and all things will be added into you. Second thing to be, have a victorious and uh, successful Christian life is that follow the word of God. That's the instruction given to Joshua because Joshua has to do a great work to conquer the entire canon and split it to 12 tribes. It is the greatest work he has to do. For this, he has to be... Um, he has to be victorious in each and every uh, action he's going to do. And he has to be success in all, in all his war he's going to wage because he has to overcome 36 kings. Um, and he has to uh, wage so many battles. Um, in all battles, he has to be successful. And he has to act so wisely. For all these things, he need only the word of God. That's why uh, Jehovah God told to Joshua, only be strong and very courageous, faithful doing uh, everything. Thing in the teaching that my servant Moses commanded you because servant for servant Moses God has commanded to, to do what and he wrote in the form of the law don't turn away from them then you will succeed wherever you go never stop reciting these teachings always we have to recite the word of God and you must think about them night and day so that you will be faithful do everything written in them so we have to think only the word of God die night and day we have the word of God which should be in our mouth and confess it then we will prosper and succeed so that is given more instruction given to Joshua. Joshua was a successful man of God who succeeded all uh, God's will in his life. Um, and at last he said, I and my house will worship the Lord. Um, uh, that's what your confession given by Joshua uh, after he succeeded in his ministry, in his, uh, in his, um, in his calling. The third one is seek the goal. That's what is written in Philippians 3, 13, 14. Everyone has a goal. That goal is set before by God, not by our own desire. So the goal set before by you are you by before you by God, you have to seek that goal, brothers and sisters. I cannot consider myself a winner yet. So think that you have completely won the battle. No, that's not the thing. This is what I do. I don't look back. I lengthen my stride and I run straight towards the win the prize that God heavenly God calls offers in Christ Jesus. There is a calling for you, heavenly calling. That is your goal. Find out the goal in your life. Just run straight towards the goal. Don't sit back. Don't look back. Don't think that you are a winner. So always seek the goal. Every day morning, get up and try to find out what is your goal and seek the goal that day and never give up. So when you do the goal, when you seek the goal, the certain will come and put hindrances, put troubles and he make other people to stand against you uh, to seek that goal. So during that time, never give up. Galatians 6 9 says we cannot always ask ourselves to get uh, tired of living the right way. So we're always thinking I'm doing the right way, but I'm always defeated. Don't be tired. Certainly, each of us will receive the everlasting life at the proper time if we don't give up. So don't, don't give up in this world. Our God has already destined the everlasting life to you. So uh, don't tired of living the right way. Those give, don't give up. Fifth one is do all for Christ. That is very, very important. Um, Christ means everything to me in this life. When I die, I will have 
even more that's what um, uh, paul is telling christ is more everything me in my life um, in your life christ should be everything then other thing to should be, should be the next um, so if you follow five steps um, then you are uh, like christian life will be successful what are the hindrances for the christian successful christian life is a disobedient and love of world disobedience hebrews 4:11 and we must make every effort to enter the place of rest um, then no one will be lost by following the example of those who refuse to obey so there are so many things in the old testament as an example uh, that people never enter the promised land because they were disobedient um, we should not be disobedient um, we should be ready to accept those um, are obedient to accept the blessings and the rest um, so obedience um, is important disobedient hinders him um, uh, uh, successful christian life um, next is the love of world um, in matthew 16 26 says what would it will do for people to win the whole world and lost their lives um, or what will, what will a person give in exchange of life um, so your spiritual life is very important compared to the worldly life so don't give up your spiritual life for the worldly life for the worldly uh, compromising don't compromise the world for uh, in spite of our spiritual life these two are very very important so these are the very important hindrances for our um, successful christian life um, and what's the key key source of success for the successful christian life is that roman 6 4 um, to 6 says um, uh, we we know that uh, the person we used to be was crucified with him to put an end to sin in our body because um, of this we are no longer slave to sin that is a very very successful key for your um, um, a successful christian life a key for the successful christian life is a roman 6 4 to 6 that means you have to reconcile with the christ death you you should be reconciled with the christ burial you must reconcile with the christ resurrection and you must reconcile with the christ triumphant life so if you reconcile all these things then the success is that the key of success the secret of the success is god wanted his people throughout the world to know that glorious riches of this mystery which is christ living in you giving you the hope of glory you are success in your christian life because christ is living in you why christ is living in you because you reconciled with christ death christ burial christ life and christ triumphant life that is a success um, and um, um the best is the what are the response of this all the successful christian life second timothy 4 7 to 8 says i have fought the good fight i have finished the race i have kept the fight now there is store of store for me the crown of righteousness every for everyone there is a crown of uh, crown of righteousness but for that you have to fight the good fight you have to finish the race and you have to keep the faith um, and god uh, will give that uh, uh, crown of righteousness during his coming so be strong that is our response um, and the best example for the christian life successful christian life is a paul paul is telling uh, to the to the elders of ephesians in acts chapter 20 23 and 24 holy spirit wants me in every city that imprisonment and suffering are waiting for me but i do not place my value on my own life i want to finish the race i am running i want to carry out the mission i have received from the lord jesus the mission of testifying the good news of god's kindness that is not mission not only for the paul that is a mission for each and every christian that is a god great god commandment a com- commission given by god before ascension before he was ascended to the heaven so this this is this a mission is not only for paul so when you do this mission there is going to be um, there is going to be suffering in your life um, and uh, and so don't worry seeing your suffering because um, satan never keep quiet um, and he wants to hinder our god's work that's what the satan is doing to the paul so he is not worrying about because um, there is a warning when he go to each and every city and there is going to be imprisonment and suffering but that's not that, that does not stop stop his Christian and mission work um, so in our life also the uh, certain poor put so many problems in um, in our life uh, like financial problem job problem health problem and he certain certain times he 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 induce certain people like, to work against us all these things are work of, work of satan so don't give up your mission and uh, and uh, do uh, in such a way um, the mission of testifying the good, good news of uh, god's giving for that you have to run Um, and you have to uh, finish the race um, and that is what is our goal and that is what is our successful christian life i want to pray for you thank you lord thank you for revealing what are then what are needed for a successful christian life help us to live that uh, successful christian life in the name of jesus amen